Yes, sir. Yes, sir, TJ. Right here. Hey, man, it's the trench ball. Right here, right here. Trench ball. Let's get right. Let's get right. Let's get right. Definitely starting to see we're in a more player-driven team. Uh, guys are holding each other accountable and not in a not in a negative way, in a way that brings everybody up to the same level, to the standard that we that we hold ourselves and each other to. You know, we we are the, you know the motor to this program, and we know this program is only going to go as far as we allow it to. So I feel like holding each other accountable and leading by example is you know very big you know for this program. Successful teams are always driven by the people who are actually out there on the on the field. Just looking out for one another. If we see somebody doing something that's not right, talk to them about it, help them come back from that situation. You don't have to wait for a coach or anything like that because your teammates say, you know, we're family, so, you know, it's not going to be like, oh, he's trying to demean me or anything like that. Like, if it comes from your brother, it should mean more than if a coach is telling you because, you know, that's your brother. That's who you have to go out there and play with. Sometimes on the field, you can't even hear the coaches, what the coaches are saying. Fight, 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 fight! As a leader, you got to step up and be that coach on the field, be that guy that people look at, and be that guy that keeps everybody smooth, calm, and just ready to do their job. Believe, man! You don't go you ain't gonna lose nothing! You all got everything to gain! At the end of the day, coaches aren't on the field making blocks, throwing passes, catching interceptions, making tackles. It's the players that are, and if the players don't have the motivation to do things the right way and do things to succeed, and the team is going to be successful. So for us, having a player-driven team means having guys that hold other guys accountable to do the right things on and off the field. One thing we talk about is that accountability is horizontal. No one's above, no one's below the line. And just making sure that we're all living to the standards that this been set. That starts with trust, and the more time you spend with people, the quicker you develop the trust. I think when people know you care, they often will do anything or run through a brick wall for you. Who we want to be as a team, you guys know it. We're going to be a tough, mentally and physically. We're going to play with great effort. We have a relentless mindset, all right? And we're going to play with pride. I think Mike can build a culture where everyone's all in it together. We talk about the ability to stand up and share and be vulnerable with one another. The ability to stand up and be vulnerable, what that does for you as a team is it builds what? Builds trust. You have to be a family in order to build the synergy and have that camaraderie that you need to be successful. It allows me to be in your circle. Now, I can't just walk by something and give a blind eye to it. When you're struggling and you're fighting and you got something going on, I can't just walk by and pretend like, man, I don't see it. I think he's just, you know, trying to establish a, a community, a family, a family environment, you know, just based on trust. So when we talk about guys standing up and sharing their story, like, that everybody that has the ability to stand up and do that, when you share it, it grows us this much closer. And that's the biggest thing, is relationships within the program to establishing a great culture, is that people need to be able to know, hey, what makes this guy tick? What makes this guy, what's the reason he's here? You know, the plan was we were going back and we were sharing. We were going to have you stand up and share and talk about what your teammates had already told you, what they had already shared. And this is what I thought was crazy. Somebody in one of the living rooms stood up and they said, you know what? I haven't been a great teammate. Because to tell you the truth, I did not know that my teammates were struggling with some of the stuff that they're struggling with. And if I had known that, I would have done more. So every time you stand up and share a little bit about your story, you get to grow closer as a team. You get to grow closer, closer as a unit. And now, it doesn't matter where we go play. Man. It doesn't matter when we travel to Michigan. It doesn't matter when we travel to Ohio State. It doesn't matter where we travel. When we get off the bus, this group is locked in as one, and they are hunting. And they are hunting. They don't care how many people are in the stands and who they're cheering for. The only thing they care about is this guy right here, and this guy right here. And that's what you're working for every day. And you get there through working hard, through being vulnerable, through the trust, and through the shared adversity of a team. That's what it's all about. Being with one another, uh, learning about each other, because um, that's where it all starts. You, um, you can't be a family without knowing about your, your brother. Helping encourage and motivate each other in just any way that they need and just being there for each other.
you know why you're fighting for each other, and you know, it gives you another reason to fight for your brothers. You're gonna take care of each other in this room. When we get to the point, guys, when we start doing that, when we have that love, that trust and respect for one another, you share the same vision, and it's hard to stop a group like that. My success I've had as a coach stems from the deep, meaningful relationships that I build with my players and that they know that I care about them outside of just the football player. So, you know, you have a, a second family away from home. You know, that's a big thing when you're going to college. Brother, like we got next to that. We always got out here, man. Let's go. Man, we on three. One, two, three. You got to be able to have people that you trust. Well, I think, you know, having the players over my house gives them an opportunity to see me be a great husband, a great father. To me, it, it's all about being a great example to these young men that I'm afforded the opportunity to lead. That's big. You know, because everything is not always about football. You know, we're, we're all men. You know, at the end of the day, and football is something that we do, but it's not something that we are defined by. So being able to, you know, get outside of that, let our coaches be the ones who show us the ropes and some of the things that we haven't seen in life. You know, in a different aspect, I feel like it's big for them. Having the opportunity to spend time with our teammates and our coaches outside of gossip, off of the field, is just really great because it allows us to get to know each other better and deepen that bond. So I think last year during camp, the last day of camp, I believe, we went and went to the movies and going to the movies. <laughs> guys were just kind of freaking out and super excited just because it's it's nice to go do things with like your brothers and with the, like your coaches that's outside of football. It just kind of brings everybody together. <laughs> I say riding the go-karts at Coach Locke's house. That was that was the probably the funnest thing we did. Oh! Yeah, I crashed a couple of times, but hey. <laughs> yeah, I think probably one of the best uh, team bonding exercises that we do on a yearly basis it would be our team karaoke night. In my home growing up singing and Music always played a huge role developing, you know, your family. I mean, we all kind of listen to music. I'm down a little bit. We about, we finna turn this thing up. By doing the karaoke night, it really allows our players to uh, show their personalities outside of the football player. I think it, again, shows them that it's okay to fail. Sometimes with uh, you know new members coming into the family, it's a way to break the ice. You know, it's amazing when you see a guy get up with a microphone and struggling to sing a song, to see the brotherhood and the teammates come up to join them to kind of help pick up the pieces of maybe a not so good presentation. And I get to see the personalities come out. I get to see the talent that our players have, as well as uh, you get to see some really strong bonding when guys go to pick other guys up. Creating that family environment and that family culture is what this thing is all about because you know, just, just like family at home, you know, you, you want to fight for your family, you know, family just means a little bit more to you. Family on three! One, two, three! Bam.